So today I'm gonna to show you a really cheap and easy way to winterize your irrigation. Now, winterizing your irrigation is just a fancy word that people throw around. It just basically means it's getting too cold and you want to get all the water out of your irrigation lines so that it doesn't freeze and, event and potentially crack your pipes. So I'm gonna show you a really cheap way to do that. Uh, and uh, so stay tuned. All right, so all you need to winterize your irrigation is a cheap air compressor like this. I think I paid 75 bucks on this or 50 bucks on Craigslist. You need a one of these, which um, I'll post it in the description. You can get this on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Basically the air flows through there here and you shut, here's a shut off. You go on and off and this connects to your uh, this connects to your compressor and this end connects to your hose so I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to do this you don't have to buy a fancy and ex expensive air compressor I'm going to show you an easy way to do that all right so here is my irrigation system I made myself. Uh, this is my zone one, and this is just the, the hose. So all you need to do is, I'm gonna show you a quick way to figure out how much pressure is coming out of your faucet. And I'm gonna use this pressure regulator, uh, pressure gauge. Stick it on here. A question I get very often is, is this air compressor gonna be enough to push the water out of my pipes? Well, let's take a look. So here is the pressure regulator. And if you see the gauge right now, it's showing 60 PSI, okay? That means that anything that is 60 PSI or more is gonna be sufficient for you to push the water out. Now this is 150 PSI, I believe. So it's plenty to push the water. So now we know how much pressure we need to push the water out of our lines. So when should you winterize? Honestly, it's pretty common sense. If you are getting temperatures in the 60s most days, down in the 30s and 20s at night, the water is gonna, your ground is gonna stay moist most of the time. And uh, especially if it rains even once a week, it's constantly be moist. You don't need to water that often. So why do you want to winterize your irrigation? You put a lot of work into your irrigation. You put pipes underneath the ground and you fish the pipes through your lawn. And all of a sudden springtime comes around and you turn on your irrigation and there's water leaks everywhere. What happens is in the winter time, when it gets too cold, 32 degrees or less, your pipes in the, the water in your pipes contract and expand contract and con expand and what that does is build up pressure in the pipes and it, it break your 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 water lines so when you winterize your quote unquote winterizing your irrigation all you're doing is pushing out that water getting it ready for the winter time so here is my whatever you call this thing device i'll post it in the description okay so you connect your your hose you also want to make sure that your water is turned off because you don't want water to, the pressure to go back in the house. You wanna push the water out. What you wanna do is slowly turn this on so that the pressure starts building up. And once you see the water coming out, then you can open it up. So what I'm gonna do is turn on the compressor and then slowly turn this. Yeah, there you go. So what you want to do is just wait until this stops so there's no more water coming out of it. See how it's slowly going away. All right, once you're done, you just close it off. There we go. That's as easy as that. Easy as rain. Is that a thing? Easy as pie? 
Easy as, easy as, I don't know. What's easy for you? All right, and you just take this off, just like that. So another thing I like to do in the winter is to take out the battery out of my unit, just so that it lasts a little longer. And I also put a bag over it just to preserve it if it snows or whatever, just to keep it a little bit warmer in the, uh, in the in the winter time. So make sure that your faucet is off and all these knobs are turned off and uh, we're set to go. All right, here we are in the backyard. Got my finger thing here plugged into there and you just pop this in there. So this is a little trickier because I have three zones. Um, so you want to turn on each one separately and push out the water slowly. So let's do zone one first. So let's turn this guy on. There we go. All right, here's zone two. And zone three. I don't know if you can see it, the water coming out there. There it is. So you wanna wait until there's barely any mist coming out. All right, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It's a really easy way to, to winterize. You don't need to. So this is a $75 air compressor plus a 15 to $20 uh, valve here. So under $100, you can winterize your irrigation. So I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe and like and do all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the next one.